Hello HPC and welcome to day 30 of 40 Days of Faith uh, and today's reading is Psalm 135 which I hope you will remember was one of the Hallelujah Psalms, the Halal Psalms that we looked at um, earlier on in the year uh, on our Wednesday um, uh, sermon series uh, through the Psalms. But it's a hymn uh, that calls God's people to praise him for his majestic power uh, that is displayed particularly in the things that he's done on behalf of his people Israel. Uh, each generation that sings this song uh, would find their faith strengthened and their loyalty encouraged uh, in the, uh, the faith, I suppose, uh, of the Lord and would deepen their gratitude uh, towards him for the privileges of being his people. Um, a side effect as well, I suppose, would would be that um, there should be a, a compassion for those, particularly in, in the case of the psalm, the Gentiles, who don't know a God like Yahweh, who don't have his sovereign control and um, his sovereign care in their lives, those who suffer from worshipping idols. And many phrases in the psalm you will have noticed as you read it, I'm sure, closely resemble uh, phrases found elsewhere in the Old Testament. And uh, this could mean that the author of the psalm used those other texts as sort of uh, sources to draw on. Um, but certainly he's underlining a common theme throughout the Old Testament. Uh, and the, sir, the psalm serves as a model for God's people in times of need uh, in order to renew their faith and their gratitude. And I guess that's why Tripp has included it as one of the readings in his book. Um, the, sir, the psalm serves the needs of God's people at all times uh, in order to renew their faith and their gratitude. I think we just said that. Um, the God of Israel, the only true and living God, is worthy of all praise, verses 1 to 3. Uh, and he has chosen Israel, his people, as his own possession. Uh, he is the sovereign ruler of all the world, um, at verses 5 to 7. And he is gracious and powerful in, in saving those who he's chosen, uh, verses 8 to 12. Um, the psalm draws out the foolishness of those who trust in idols. Um, uh, these false and pretend gods uh, can't see or hear or speak or act, verses 13 to 17. And those who worship them most terrifyingly become like them, verse 18. In contrast, how fortunate are the people of, of the Lord. And their God is the true God and they are chosen by him. The privilege of their position as the people of God has nothing to do with them. Rather, it has everything to do with the sovereign grace and mercy and power of their God. What mercy is shown in the gracious love of God. What hope should fill the hearts of those people who know that they're saved and secure by the same God who controls the natural forces of the world. And again, I guess that's why for this reading, um, Tripp points us to this psalm. And because they're the people he's rescued, um, God is committed to them uh, and his power that rules heaven and earth um, will mean that he intends good for them no matter what circumstances they find themselves in. We can know for certain that everything that washes into our lives is for our good because God who controls the nations and creation uh, also sent the Lord Jesus Christ uh, to suffer and die for our sins. Even when we can't make sense of our circumstances, we know the character and the power of God, which is revealed both in, in the person of Jesus supremely and in create creation around us. Therefore, we trust him, believing all that we experience is from his hand and that he is our heavenly father. In the plan and provision of Christ, our God has completely, infallibly demonstrated that he loves us eternally. And by his ruling over all of creation, he assures us that he can direct all things for our ultimate good. We could not be more loved or more secure. What a joy. Heavenly Father, we thank you that this psalm reminds us of your power and of your love. And we want to pray for those who don't know that, who are, in the words of the psalm, worshipping idols. Father, deliver them from that. Bring them into relationship with you, we pray. Amen. Have a really good day, HPC. Nice to see you.